namin Diyos. Maraming salamat po sa buhay at lakas na aming tagnay. Sa liwanag ng kaisipan at sa pagkakataon maipagpatuloy ang pag-aaral ng mga kabataan. Gabay mo po ang bawat isa sa amin. Ano man ang bahagi na aming gagampanan, naway maging maayos at matagumpay ang pagtuturo at pag-aaral na aming gagawin sa araw na ito. Patawarin mo po kami sa aming mga pagkulang at pagkakasala. At sa aming paggawa, ikaw po ang aming makasama. Amen. Good day, class. I am Sir Peter Simon Belisario from Punturing Senior High School, your live stream teacher for this day. Today, we will learn new topic on our subject, Understanding Culture, Society, and Politics. So before we proceed with our lesson, so let me check first if you learned the topic discussed to you last time. This is the review of the previous lesson. Are you ready? Okay, so let us try to find out. For the instruction, identify the word being asked by the statement. Type your answer using the comment box and you will be given only 10 seconds to answer each question. Ready? Number one, the customs, arts, social, institution, and achievement of a particular nation, people, or other social group. I repeat, the customs, arts, social institutions, and achievements of particular nation, people, or other social group. Your 10 seconds starts now. Okay, so the correct answer is culture. Very good. Number two. An organized group of persons associated together for religious, benevolent, cultural, scientific, political, patriotic, or other purposes. I repeat, an organized group of persons associated together for religious, benevolent, cultural, scientific, political, patriotic, or other purposes. Your timer starts now. And the correct answer is society. Very good. Third, the activities associated with the governance of a country or other area, especially the debate or conflict among individuals or parties having or hoping to achieve power. I repeat, the activities associated with the governance of country or other area, especially the debate or conflict among individuals or parties having or hoping to achieve power. Your 10 seconds starts now. And the correct answer is politics. Alright, very good class. So it seems like that you already understood the topic discussed last time. Now, let us discuss new topic. This is to analyze the concept, aspects, and changes in of culture and society. Now, in order for us to be guided, so here are the competencies we needed to achieve at the end of our lesson. First, to explain the anthropological and sociological perspective on culture and society. Second, Describe society and culture as a complex whole. And third is to identify the aspects of culture and society. Now, as a springboard of our lesson, let us answer the following. The instruction says, arrange the jumbled letters to form the correct word. Use the picture to help you figure out the word. Again, you will be given 10 seconds to think of the correct answer or the correct Word. Are you ready? So let us start. Your timer starts now. And the correct word is flexible. Very good. Number two. Your 10 seconds starts now.
And the correct word is interaction. Nice one, guys. Third, your 10 seconds starts now. And the correct word is dynamic. Very good, class. Fourth, ready? Your 10 seconds starts now. And the correct word is transmitted. And for the last word, let's start the counting. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And the correct word is language. Alright, so very good class. So it seems like you know the word already. Now, these words we use from our previous activity are related to our lesson for this day. Again, our topic for this day is to analyze the concept, the aspects, and the changes in a culture and society. Now, for the first part of the lesson, let us discuss the culture and society in anthropological and sociological perspective. But before that, uh, let me give you a background what culture is. Culture is the set of shared attitudes, values, goals, and practices that characterizes an institution or organization. And this is also defined as the characteristics and knowledge of a particular group of people encompassing language, religion, cuisine, social habits, music, and arts. Now, over time, um, anthropologists learned that the definition would not apply to all cultures. Anthropologists began to develop a definition of culture that could be applied broadly. Now, let's proceed to society. So, this is the definition of society. It is defined as a group of individuals involved in persistent social interaction or large social group sharing the same spatial or social territory typically subject to the same political authority and dominant culture expectations. In addition to that, um, society is a large group of people who live together in an organized way, making decisions about how to do things and sharing work that needs to be done. Or shall we say, um, all the people in a country or in several um, similar countries can be referred to as society. Okay? Now, if we look culture and society in anthropological perspective, okay, um, social anthropology and cultural anthropology study the norms, the values of societies. Linguistic anthropology studies how language affects social life. History is a wide ranging including fossil remains, non-human primate anatomy and behavior, artifacts from past cultures, past and present languages, and all prehistoric and contemporary cultures of the world. Now, on the other hand, um, culture and society in sociological perspective is the scientific study of society, patterns of social relationships, social interaction, and culture. The systematic interpretation of codes and conducts in the form of language, symbols, facial expressions, dress, foods, music, and etc. used by people in society. Social interaction among humans is the basic sociological concept because all humans and groups that make up a society socialize. Okay, so this is the clear difference of culture and society on anthropological and sociological perspective. Now, let's move on. Let us now discuss the concept of culture and society as a complex whole, which encompasses beliefs, practices, values, attitudes, laws, norms, artifacts, symbols, knowledge, and everything that a person learns and shares as a member of society. That culture is passed 
from generation to another generation between individuals and collectivities in a manner that involves social learning rather than specific genetic programming. Culture typically is thought as it were attached to or identified with particular groups or societies or peoples. Okay? Now, on this part of the lesson, let us discuss the aspects of culture. Ready? Now, for the first aspect of culture, number one, it is dynamic, flexible, and adaptive. Culture is dynamic as it responds to the changing needs of time alongside to the motion and actions within and around it. When one aspect changes within a system, culture easily responds to it. This basically means that culture interacts and change. It changes based on the current situation of our society. Culture continuously restores itself so it will remain relevant. So the example of this here in the Philippines is that um, part of our culture is the manopo and saying po and opo. This is our way of showing our respect to the elders. In Japan, they bow to show respect. So this is example of two different acts but shows same respect to elders. Next aspect, it is shared, contested, and challenged given the reality of social differentiation. So let us try to define first what is social uh, differentiation. So the process by which um, different statuses develop in any group, organization, or society. So as we share culture with others, we are able to act in appropriate ways as well as predict how others will act. Example, if you are working abroad and your work requires you to interact and socialize with other nationalities like Koreans, Chinese, or Japanese, well, at some point, you would like also to meet a Filipino where you can relate to and express yourself because you are sharing the same norms and culture. Okay? Now, despite the shared culture, that doesn't mean that culture is homogeneous or similar. If culture is learned and shared, it is also contested in different ways and situation. Because of diversity, culture is subjected to debate and analysis. It may be challenged by the presence of modernization. It may be challenged uh, by the presence of industrialization, or it may be challenged in the presence of globalization. Okay? Now, for the third aspect of culture, it is learned through socialization or enculturation. Socialization is an ongoing process of learning language, behaviors, customs, values, and others to acquire identity. While enculturation, on the other hand, is the process by which an individual adapts the behavioral patterns of culture in which the person is immersed. Now, going back to socialization, so we learn and internalize the rules and patterns of behaviors that are affected by culture. While in enculturation, this is a process by which youngsters or our young ones learn and adapt the ways and manners of their culture. Meaning to say that culture is not biological. We do not inherit it, but we learn it. We learn, we absorb, we acquire culture from families, peers, institutions, and the media. For example, um, the child hears his father talk bad words against an old lady. The child might think that what his daddy did to the old lady is correct because he looked up into his father. The child would think that this behavior is socially acceptable, so he would start talking bad words against older people. Next, number four, uh, our fourth aspect 
uh, it is pattern social interactions. Now, social interaction is defined as the mutual influence of two or more people on each other's behavior. Culture as a normative system has the capacity to define or control human behaviors. Culture as a normative or shall we say standardizing system has the capacity to define and control human behaviors. Human beings rely on social structure to make sense of everyday life. Social interactions can help us filter the parts of our culture that we learn so that we can define what suits us and what does not. An example of this are the people living in Valenzuela City. So what is common to Valenzuelanos are the laws and the ordinances implemented to the city. Okay, so as Valenzuelanos, we follow these common patterns of rules that makes the city organized. All right. So for the fifth aspect or number five, it is integrated and at times unstable. So this is known as holism or the various parts of the culture being interconnected and interlinked. Now, in order to keep the culture functioning, all aspects of the culture must be integrated. For example, um, the language must be able to describe all the functions within the culture. In order for the ideas and ideals to be transmitted from one person to another. Okay, so another example. We Filipinos have list of authentic Filipino dishes. Okay, but aside from our own dishes, we also incorporate to our menu the food from other countries like USA. So they are famous for their burgers and fries. In China, they are famous on their shawmice. In Japan, on their shoesies. Okay, and Korea, on their grilled food. Okay, next. Sixth aspect of the culture is transmitted through socialization or enculturation. So as we share our culture with others, uh, we were able to pass it on new members of society or the younger generation in a different ways. It can be transmitted from one person to another or even one society to another. In the process of enculturation, so this is more of the process of learning the culture of one group or learning your native culture from birth to death. Okay? So example, uh, we are teaching the young ones how to speak Cebuano. We are showing the children how to plant and harvest rice. Or in school, um, the teacher teaches the students different cultural background of different places. Okay? And the last aspect is it requires language and other forms of communication. In the process of learning and transmitting culture, we need symbols and language to communicate with others in society. That everything can be said in one language cannot be said in another. Meanings are not directly translatable. Okay, so let us have a recap of what we have discussed. First, we discuss um, the concept of culture and society using the anthropological and sociological perspective. We also discuss um, culture and society as a complex whole. And in addition to that, we also discuss the seven aspects of culture, such as follows. Um, number one, dynamic, flexible, and adaptive. Number two, shared, contested, and challenged. Number three, learned through socialization or enculturation. Number four, um, patterned social interactions. Number five, integrated and at times unstable. Number six, transmitted through socialization or enculturation. And number seven, it requires language and other forms of communication. Okay? Now, so this is the end of our lesson. Now, let me try what you have learned on this lesson. Okay, so let us try this. So the instruction says, type true on the comment box if the statement is correct and type false if the statement is 
incorrect. So, you will be given again 10 seconds, okay, to answer. Number one, culture is the characteristics and knowledge of a particular group of people encompassing language, religion, cuisine, social habits, music, and arts. I repeat, culture is the characteristics and knowledge of a particular group of people encompassing language, religion, cuisine, social habits, music, and arts. True or false? Your 10 seconds starts now. And the correct answer is true. Very good, class. Number two. Linguistic anthropology studies how language affects social life. Again, linguistic anthropology studies how language affects social life. True or false? Your 10 seconds starts now. Okay, so the correct answer is true. Nice one, class. Number three. Socialization is the process by which an individual adapts the behavioral patterns of culture in which the person is immersed. Again, socialization is the process by which an individual adapts the behavioral patterns of culture in which the person is immersed. True or false? Your 10 seconds starts now. Okay, so the correct answer is false. Okay, so what is the correct word for socialization instead of socialization? Okay, we will use enculturation. Okay, number four. In patterned social interactions, Culture as normative system has the capacity to define and control human behaviors. Again, in patterned social interactions, culture as normative system has the capacity to define and control human behaviors. Is it true or false? Your 10 seconds starts now. <laughs> Okay, so the correct answer is true. Very good. And for the last question, in the process of learning and transmitting culture, we do not need symbols and language to communicate with others in society. Again, I repeat, in the process of learning and transmitting culture, we do not need symbols and language to communicate with others in society. Your timer starts now. And the correct answer is false. Of course, we needed symbols and language in order for us to communicate with society. Okay? So, very good class. So, it seems uh, that you have understanding on our lesson. Now, if you have any question, your follow-up teacher can help you with that. And I think this is the end of our class. Again, I am Sir Peter Simon D. Belisario from Punturin Senior High School, your live stream teacher for this day. Good day and God bless everyone.